Okay, welcome back. So, researched. Nice. Let's start uh, by doing the actual processing of the metal. We're not going to do copper yet, we're just going to do iron ore. So, we want the iron ore to travel down here. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter, but I generally like to do it just about in the middle. Again, not necessary, just I don't know, personal preference. Oh no. Don't say that. I don't need many belts at all. Come on, chop chop. Okay, there we go. So the iron ore is coming in and it needs to go to these outer belts. Now the way I like to do it is again it's it's completely up to you how you do it, but uh I like it this way. I like to make a splitter and two underground belts. Also because then I can actually slot them in already. I like having my hotbar fixed. I, I really like this uh, thing where you can just lock it in. Okay. So we make a splitter and do it, you know, doesn't matter where, just... Hmm. Actually, it does matter. I want them to... This is my general design always. I know it's a very common design, but... I'll make small changes to it. See these belts? They're kind of going away from each other. That's because when I put a splitter there... Now they're connected to each side. And this one... Bada boom! Uh, the splitter is now going to evenly... Split. The iron ore. You can see the long header insert is working. Put in all the stuff in. Now let's put up some light, shall we? Before we forget. Light there, light there. Uh, we're going to completely overdo it on lights. Whatever. Nice. So now we just need to get the coal in, and the coal's a bit locked in now, and what I like to do is these underground belts. They're a bit finicky to work with at start, but you sort of get used to them. Place one, you place two, and the belt will now go here on the ground and come out there. And the same here. Nice. Now what I did like to do is have my main core line run like this. Um, whilst I make a lot more belts. <laughs> and we use another splitter here. And then we use another underground belt. Hang on, the two splitters, three splitters, two underground belts. And the same thing here as well. And I, I really like this setup. It's it's clean. It's really neat. Very nice, I find. Okay, so whilst we're doing that, let's just um, yeah. See the, the one downside of having the uh, boilers here, and the coal needs to go both here and here, and I can split it. But I'm not a big fan. But we'll, we'll have to do it. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. This coal deposit is also very small. We're going to need a lot more coal. We have to go there. Oh yeah, this is another weird thing that you're probably surprised by. See this water? You can walk one tile off the edge. This lighter color doesn't actually make a difference. You can just walk one tile exactly. Even if this is two, I can't get there. And that also goes for buildings. So you can see I can build all the way up to this one one bit off, but not further. There's no bridges, there's no boats, there's nothing. Yet. Alright, cool. Oh, come on. I blame my new computer. Cool. So now the coal is being evenly divided. Now two miners is not enough. We're going to need more, but for now it's fine. Okay, now we want the coal to go to both down here and down there. We want it to go under the track, come out there, and another splitter there. Nice. And I think this is a really neat solution. It, look, it looks nice. Uh, that is important. 
and it just works really well. Okay, so now we've got iron plates coming down this line, see? Uh, and it's going to pile up here and it's going to be blocked off. So what I like to do generally is get a fast inserter and a box. Just whilst we're, uh, whilst we're working. So fast inserter. And the box. Again, one, spy, uh, one tile difference. These two items are actually on this tile. I know, it's weird. But you can sort of see it like that. See it's off. Yeah, anyways. Doesn't matter. There we go. Whoops. There we go. Connected. And this box, we can just pick it off. I know it's still going to block up a bit, but yeah, whatever. Okay, now we do the same thing for copper. And uh, maybe we want the copper... Hang on, let me just... Uh, just quickly. If this would be coal... And... You know, we could lay it out like that. Oh, can I even do that? I didn't know that. Uh, there. This would be there. Uh-huh. And then two lines. So we could fit another entire line next to this up here. Although then we get stuck in the oil. But we have too much oil here already. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. But first, more lights. I tell you, man, I, I over make lights so much. Because it's so annoying not to be able to see. They do use power, though, so there's that. Okay, cool. Well done. I think we're going to make the copper processing plant first. Because we do need quite a bit of copper as well. Oh, do we want to make it up here? Hmm. No. Let's start with no. If I need to expand our iron, and I don't want to do it like horizontally, from east to west, we might do it up here. But for now, let's make a copy of this line. This will be copper, coal, Taking the coal. There we go. Furnace is always handy. And there we go. Nice. Now for copper, we don't need eight. We can just go with four for now. it's one off okay this is what gets me in this game <laughs> I'm like one off and it just fucks me can't do that sorry alright there we go so we make four one there one there electricity line between it and we're gonna do the exact same thing so we're gonna make a few of those we're gonna make a few of those this fuel line goes all the way across and probably goes under is it here? yep a copper line will be coming from here split it there splitter there I mean, it doesn't look nice. I do really like this layout. I think it's uh, the nicest looking one. I know there's more efficient ones, but I think this one lo uh, looks the nicest. Uh, in general, hmm, how do I say this? The balance between looking good and being efficient is really nice with this. Okay, so we need two more miners. Put them up here and uh, also again for you guys I'm going to extend this power line there just to put some lights there 
it's a bit of an energy drain, but uh, it helps. It just it just makes it better. Now, what I really like about this game is that it stays a challenge. So I have played this, you know, hundred something hours, and I haven't even finished it because I just want to keep redoing my factory. <laughs> I have redone my factory so many times, I don't even know how to count it anymore. <laughs> it's way too much, because you never make it perfect. It's impossible. It is impossible to make a perfect factory. And you just keep improving it and keep improving it until, well, you find something else. So you watch a video, or you just figure it out yourself and there's something better and then you're gonna have to remake your entire factory again although you don't have to but you know you kinda do okay oh, one short <laughs> okay there we go boink 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 don't need that definitely don't need that much Okay. Okay, just stuff all my excess copper. Nice. So he says whilst he uh spills. Let's make another fast insert and also lock that, because I use those quite a bit. Put it in a box. Okay, what is wrong with me? Might have to go to the doctor. Can't aim anymore. It's going to be a problem. Yeah, for now I'll just make it like that. Perfect. So now we have automated the production of our iron ore and copper plates. And I can just get as much as I want. I've got a lot already. It's very, very nice. And we can dismantle our old mines and that is quite important actually because they are still generating pollution if they're doing stuff oh, they're not okay well they're not doing anything but uh, it becomes really crucial that you check your pollution levels and you can do that by pressing M and if you have alt pressed then you see these red borders see they disappear when I press alt again that's where my pollution reaches and any insects aliens really that are in this pollution um, zone will be aggressive towards us and uh, let me tell you they hurt like I'm just gonna leave that stone there they hurt it's you don't want to mess with the freaking aliens at start if I was playing really safe I would have already made a military tech on the military building but uh, eh. actually <laughs> I'm just gonna do that right now I usually get military tech and it will give us a uh, submachine gun. No, we are going to take these. How are we for power? Yeah, still making too much. Perfect. Perfect. Cool. So I do think we need an extra coal plant, although it is see, backing up slowly. Yeah. Alright, so after we do the science packs, let's just do that. God, I hate science packs so much. Uh, we'll just put them here. We'll move them in about two seconds, but uh, for now. Go for it. The last one. Put it in this one. Okay. So, I want to keep quite a bit of space here, because I, I I'm not going to extend this too far, because I'll probably extend it like vertically, to the north, but maybe, um, how many do I have, okay, let's say, disconnect that for a bit, one, two, three, four more. Seems like a reasonable number. 
and then okay, let's just make it a wall here yeah of course a bit of thing but it's kind of a good view uh, now this single line is not gonna do for long but what we're gonna do is this line here above that we're gonna build later on it's also going in this line together and it will merge up into a faster belt or in a double belt so that will do I think now oh nice research okay let's make a gun and let's make some ammo and that way we'll be safe if the aliens attack okay so copper comes down here and uh, we'll probably do it straight away actually and we'll keep it I know it there now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this a double belt already and then later on when we add an extra iron production on it can just hook into it but for now we'll just use a splitter also here's the submachine gun that's the ammo you can see uh, you fire your gun with a spacebar or if you so when you press spacebar it shoots next to your cursor if you press C whilst hovering over something you shoot that even though it's not an enemy which I'm gonna do right now because it's in a way and it drains it drains so much munition but you know we'll make some more okay lights lights action there we go did I run out of lights okay yep so split it that's what I was doing so we're gonna go pop 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 and now we're gonna have two iron lines and two copper lines and yes that's gonna be needed we also ran out of electric poles now let's see how we can automate science packs this is the first thing you would want to do uh, is my recommendation it's also very simple okay so this we need one copper plate and one iron gear wheel not too bad and we're gonna need some of these assembling machines now these take a while to build so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for these lamps to finish and these poles and then I'll make 10 of them as well and I'll wait until all that is done and then I will see you in the next episode so thanks for watching and I will see you next time